There were 400 people in the building when the car bomb exploded. According to eyewitnesses, a suicide bomber rammed the vehicle through two sets of gates, then ploughed into the main reception. This was supposed to be a secure compound, but the suicide bomber managed to break through to carry out one of the most devastating attacks against the UN in the last decade. This was an assault on those who devote their lives to helping others. We condemn this terrible act utterly. We do not yet have precise casualty figures, but they are likely to be considerable. A number of people are dead, many more are wounded. The Islamist group Boko Haram are the most likely architects of all this. They are fighting for the introduction of Sharia law and are even thought to be pursuing new links with Al-Qaeda in North Africa and Al-Shabaab in Somalia. Boko Haram have been behind a wave of attacks against government institutions, including a car bombing of Nigeria's police headquarters in June, in which two people died. <laughs> The UN suffered a devastating attack on its compound in Baghdad in 2003, in which more than 20 people died. For that, Al-Qaeda claimed responsibility. Then and now, the UN will be urgently reassessing its operations in Africa. The recently inaugurated president of Nigeria, Goodluck Jonathan, has condemned the suicide bombing as despicable and has put security forces across the capital on high alert.